Sundaresan. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so uh, I think last time we did up to 19th problem, right? In the uh, book. Yes, sir. Uh, so did you try the? There was a network uh, problem and I got disconnected and I rejoined. There is Shanmugaraj. Shanmugaraj, you are fellow. Hope uh, I'm out. Oh, I keep speaking, sir. All of you. Uh, Sundaresan, are you able to hear me? Sir, uh, I don't know. Hello? Okay. Are you able to hear now? No. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. I think there is a network issue here. I mean, the, the weather has, is not very good, so I think there is a network problem. Okay. So uh, I think we have another uh, boy, Shanmugaraj. Hello? Again, I think uh, there was a network problem. Uh, I don't know what is going on. Uh, I think uh, due to bad weather or whatever. Uh, Chamuraj, I asked you something. Uh, can you introduce about yourself? You are from which school, which location, which uh, class? Hello, Shanmugaraj? Yes, sir. Uh, audible. Okay. Okay. So, Shanmugaraj, I'm asking you whether you are from which location, which school, uh, which uh, you know syllabus, CBSC or uh, state board, and which class? You are not at all audible. Shanmugaraj, you are not audible, ma. I am not able to speak right now. Okay, so uh, today we are going to cover uh, uh, complex algebra, okay, or about complex numbers. We have been doing it for the last uh, at least two weeks, I think. So today is the last session for complex uh, numbers. 
uh, i hope uh, you know for a prerequisite is that you know you must have you know you must be thorough with you know whatever has been taught in the class to be uh, completed for you already so i, I hope uh, that's okay with you shunmugaraj right you are an employee i don't understand you, are you not a student or okay you are a 12th class student right ah huh, then I, i don't understand which class are you and if, if, can you introduce uh, try type about yourself a little bit okay meanwhile uh, sundarisan uh, you i asked you you whether you did uh, uh, any of the from 20 to 25 tried it at home you think i'm graduate oh okay i think shanmugaraj came to the wrong wrong uh, session okay uh, okay good uh so it's another reason what we will do no uh, i want to keep keep it at the last uh, session uh, for uh, complex uh, uh, numbers okay so if we do the problems in your uh, book then uh, you know we will only do that so we won't be able to do any other problems from my dj so i want to do uh, and, and currently um, in your school have they started the next chapter that is about the theory of equations sir no sir no the day no they will start sir okay 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 fine anyway uh, so what i suggest no uh, um for uh, those problems which one you think you can do yourself and which ones do you need to discuss now if you can uh, look at those problems you have the book right in front of you yes sir uh, please open the book and uh, you know tell me we can do one or two problems you know from this 19 to 25 i want you to do the remaining problems okay some problems you know we, we, you should try yourself right sir shall we do 20 first sir 20 okay sir 21 sir 21 okay 19 you are comfortable but i 19 you are done right okay 20 19 we already did uh, you want to do 20, 20 you are saying you are you're okay with 20 and we'll go on to 21 is it yes sir so 21 and 23 sir 21 and 23 okay let's do that okay 21 and 23 21 okay uh if alpha and b beta are the roots of x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 here if alpha and beta i'll share the screen now i didn't share the screen so if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 then find what alpha to the power of 2020 plus beta to the power of 2020 okay. so how can we do this okay uh, i'll give you a clue 
uh, and based on that you know uh, you can also try see here alpha and beta roots of the equation x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 if you look at the equation uh, its roots are complex beta equal to 1 sir enama sir alpha plus beta equal to 1 sir alpha plus beta equal to 1 so you uh, that's also given oh, no, no. i missed it uh, yeah yeah alpha plus beta equal to 1 that you can say from the uh, uh, equation itself correct correct good uh but but uh, no that that is not enough so alpha to the power of 2020 plus beta to the power of 2020 so we we have to solve for alpha and beta in terms of complex numbers okay and convert them to polar form okay so then you can calculate alpha to the power of 2020 and beta to the power of 2020 very easily okay can we do like that so what are the values of alpha and beta alpha equal to uh, tell the formula minus b plus we'll put plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a same thing b square minus 4ac by 2a so what are we getting minus half plus root of minus 3 which is i root 3 yes sir root 3 by 2 sir uh root 3 by 2 correct ma sorry correct. uh here also minus half minus i root 3 by 2 okay now we have got alpha and beta now can we convert how do we convert this alpha and beta to polar form now we have it in rectangular form let us convert it into polar can you do that yes sir yeah we'll do that and tell me so you know and so r and theta so what will be r and first of all we'll write alpha and then we'll write theta so what is r here one sir r equal to 1 because that is root of 1 by 2 whole square plus root 3 by 2 whole square so that is equal to 1 okay what is alpha tan inverse of tan inverse of root 3 so and what is that in the first quarter pi by 3 correct so what will be theta so this is in which quarter minus half plus i root by 3 x is uh, negative y is positive so which quarter second quarter second quarter so second quarter what is the formula pi Eta minus pi minus alpha okay so alpha equal to cis 2 pi by 3 Okay. same way you write beta
So beta r equal to same equal to same. But this is in which quarter? Minus and minus means it is in third quadrant. So. What will be theta? Alpha minus pi. Third quadrant. So what will be theta for third quadrant? Alpha minus pi. Minus 2 pi by 3. Okay. So therefore, beta equal to cis minus 2 pi by 3. Okay. Now you have alpha and beta. Now you can find out what is alpha to the power of 2020. Equal to cis. Two thousand twenty into two pi, right? Now <coughs> we have to determine the value of this is for four thousand forty pi by three. So how can we do that? <coughs> This can be written as so you have to uh, first convert it into some 2 pi. You have to how many 2 pi's are there? Okay, and uh, the remaining how much? So the 2 pi can be taken away because it is cyclic for every 2 pi's. So, so how many 2 pi's are there? We can take out. So let's do that. So 2 pi means uh, so it is 6. If you put 6 pi uh, at the top, uh, it will be 2 pi. Six by 3 is 2, right? 1, 3, 4, 6 pi, sir. 1, 1, 3, 4, 6 pi uh, plus 2 pi by 3. Correct, huh? Are you sure? 2 pi by 3, sir. Uh, 2 pi by 3. Okay. And what is this beta equal to? Same way, right? This beta to the power of 2020. This is alpha to the power of 2020, not alpha. Okay. So beta to the power of 2020 is cis of minus 4040 pi by 3 so which is equal to same way you write same thing, right? Sis. Minus 13 for the six. Pi. Plus, you put minus, you get minus. So we can take out plus uh, so many uh, two pi's or minus two pi's. It's important that is two pi. Okay, this is even. So this is therefore cis minus 2 by 8. So find the value of cis 2 pi by 3 and cis minus 2 pi by 3 and we are done. That's all. Sharmi Selva, Munga, Mike, off and I'm <laughs> 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 
So can we solve from now? Yes, sir. Yeah. So what are you getting? Sir, alpha. Okay, I think uh, we can do it. In a, so this cos 2 pi by 3 plus i sin 2 pi by 3 uh, is same as alpha. Yes, sir. That's right. what I got. Yeah. So this is again same as beta. Right? So what you got is the power of 2020 plus beta to the power of 2020 is same as alpha plus beta. <laughs> alpha so plus is beta equal to 1, sir. Equal to 1, sir. Uh, uh, so. Sir, I started this sum with this step, sir. So, okay, right, so, started to sum with what? Alpha plus beta. Is minus one, no? Oh, we're getting one. Because uh, this equation, x square plus x plus one equal to zero. Uh, if alpha and beta are the roots, so your alpha plus beta will be? Minus b by a, no? Yeah. Which is? Minus 1, sir. Minus 1. So that, that is the answer, okay? So your answer is minus 1. Is that one of the options given? Yes, sir. Sir, shall we go to JE problems? Okay. Okay. Shall we go to JE problems? Or maybe we can do one more problem here. Okay. So, any problem involving. Um, so, let us say 22, which looks very interesting. Uh, can, can you solve this 22? The product of all four it's values here. of uh, this, this is about ith root. So uh, I want to uh, uh, twenty-two. The remaining problems uh, you should do it at home. Okay. Okay, sir. So 20 based also. The product of all four values of cos pi by 3, cis pi by 3, I will write. Cis pi by 3 whole to the power of 3 by 4. Cis pi by 3 whole to the power of 3 by 4. So there are four roots for it because. It is 3 by 4, the denominator is 4, uh, the product of the four roots. Let us say the roots are uh, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4. Okay. So then, what are we supposed to find out? Alpha 1 into alpha 2 into alpha 3 into alpha 4. Okay. 
so what is the value of that okay so this is a fairly uh, uh, straightforward problem okay uh, so let's see if you can do that now now first of all uh, um, tell me how you will write the four different roots of uh, this uh, equation okay sir this pi by 4 plus 2k pi and the values of k are 0 1 2 3 This pi by four. Tell me again. Plus two k pi. Yes, sir. Plus three, sir. This is what you are saying. Yes, sir. Okay. K equal to zero one. Let's, let's hold. Let's hold. Let me just check that. Okay. So the if it is like this, the way you should go about is. First, do the cube, okay? Because there, there is no, uh, um, you know, length root coming. So we do the cube, and then to the power of one by four. That means this is going to become six pi by three whole to the power of three whole to the power of one by four. So this is what you should do, okay? So when you do this one is very easy. This is simply six of pi, okay, to the power of one by four. Is that the way you did? Sir, I directly multiplied it three by four, sir. No, no, that is the mistake. Okay, so now you will get a different uh, set. See that this is the way you should do. Okay, six pi by four. Uh, six pi to the power of one by four. Now, what are the four roots? Now, pi plus that is the way you should do. Pi plus two k pi. That means first you turn a pi. Okay. Next, pi plus two pi. Next, pi plus three pi. Right, pi plus two pi, four pi, six pi. So now you divide each one by four, because you are taking the fourth root. So you you take each one. So take this pi as the first one, then plus two pi plus another two pi, another two pi, and then you divide all of them by four. So these are the four roots. Okay, pi by four. Three pi by four, pi pi by four, seven pi by four. Okay. So you should be very careful. So now you tell me, uh, what is the? So the four roots are six pi by four, six three pi by four. Okay, so what will be the value of uh, uh, alpha one into alpha two into alpha three into alpha four? That will be. So now you should be. You should be able to tell this. It says what? There are four uh, values to be multiplied. In this, you add it, right? So, which is equal to six of one three five. Three, four, nine, sixteen. Six four pi, so which is same as six zero. So again, because four pi is you know two into two pi plus zero. So so what is six zero? One sir. One. So the product of the four roots is equal to one. Sir, I forgot before. J is equal to. 
so i just wanted to quickly ah, tell you one problem on the nth root okay so hope you are clear right is that yes, one sir. of the options right that uh, one is one of the options right yes sir option number 3 mm, yeah that's what it is okay so now let's do uh, a few iit problems okay okay i managed to type it hmm? so if a is not equal to plus or minus b and are purely real okay and z is a complex number then find out okay real of this is a z square plus b z that's equal to a and real of b z square plus a z is equal to b then the number of values of z possible is what 0 1 2 or 3 so here uh, see they are given uh, they are asking you to find out only the real part okay this kind of problems i you know uh, i i see quite a few so even the next problem is also like that okay so they are given a, a, a complex number and say say that it is it's purely imaginary you solve it okay so the so this is a very common type of problem that you encounter okay so now let's let's see how you do that okay so here you take z equal to x plus iy okay then find out what is real of a z square plus b z so what is real of z a minus b enna eduthiyo b minus a enna plus x plus a enna pare 3 i cap minus 2 i cap i cap what is real of z square minus so you have to only look at the real part minus 7 cap x square minus y square very good ma very good so real of z square is x square minus y square so therefore what is real of a is z square plus b is z equal to a into z square Plus a y square plus a z square. Plus a is a capital integer. B into real of z. A into x square minus y square plus b into x. Okay. Similarly, write down what is the real of b is a square. Plus a is z. a and this is equal to b okay from this what can we say about z the value of z the value of z can come from value of x and y so we can try to solve for x and y uh, from these uh, uh, equations okay so so one thing we can do is a little tricky here okay so this is one equation and this is another equation if you add the two equations you see what happens okay. you add the two equations it is a plus b into x square minus y square plus a plus b 
into x equal to a plus b. And they are given that a not equal to plus or minus b. That means a plus b is not zero. So a plus b not zero means we can divide the whole thing by a plus b, and you will get an equation x square minus y square plus x equal to sorry x square minus y yeah plus x equal to one huh? because you're dividing by a plus b now, so you are getting an equation like this. This let us say this is your equation number three. Same way to 1 minus 2. So what do you get? A minus B square minus A square plus B minus A into X equal to A minus B. Okay. So here again, they are given that a minus b is not equal to zero, right? Because a not equal to b, a not equal to minus b. So therefore, this equation we can again divide by a minus b. To divide by a minus b, what happens? X square minus square minus x zero plus a minus b number. Yeah. Uh, minus x in one row. So yeah, minus x. Okay. Okay. So when you divide by a minus b, this will become minus 1. So minus x equal to 1. So now you get two equations. x square minus y square plus x. So you leave the one. And x square minus y square minus x is also equal to 1. What does it tell about x now? So from this we, we should be able to solve for x and y. And then what are the two options? Okay, sir. Carry on, sir. So what do you see from this? Some, there is a power quantity x square minus this is a real quantity x square minus y square plus x equal to 1. This real quantity minus x is also same. So from this logically you can say that x equal to 0. Right? Yes. Or you, yeah. Or you can try to subtract. Huh? Subtract 4 from 3. It will give you 2x equal to 0. <laughs> this gives you x equal to 0. So, if x equal to 0, what is y? By substituting, you can get y, right? 0 or minus. Yes. Uh, get 0 minus y square. X is 0. No? Uh. So y square equal to minus one. Y square equal to minus one, right? So is there a is it possible to have like this y square equal to minus one because y is given as real because because that's our assumption, right? A equal to z equal to x plus i y in that x and y are real. Okay, but we are not getting any real solution at all. Uh, for these conditions, right? So the solution to this is x equal to zero and y square equal to minus one or y equal to i only we are getting. So, but y has to be real. So therefore, there is no solution that is coming out. So there is no solution. So what are they asking? The number of uh, value of z possible is so obviously zero zero okay <coughs> <coughs>
Okay, <clears throat> so uh, you try to do one more problem, the second problem. Okay, so it is very similar. Uh, uh, you, you please try to do it yourself now. Okay, x belongs to 0 to 2 pi and 1 plus 2i sin x divided by 1 minus i sin x is purely imaginary, then solve for x. <coughs> Uh, is anybody able to proceed? Sir, working, sir. Okay, okay. Take, take some time. Fine. Sir, 45 degrees, sir, x equal to. x equal to 45 degrees. Pi by 4, sir. OK, OK. So because it is in the range 0 to 2 pi, OK. So how did you do? Can you uh, let's put step by step? Okay. Sir, first I to conjugate, sir. Okay. Okay. Let, let's write that. No? The expression given is one plus two i sin x divided by one minus i sin x. This is equal to you take multiply by the conjugate. Okay. One plus two i sin x into one plus i sin x. Right? Okay. 
So what are you getting at this stage? So one plus mm. i sin x. One plus, plus uh, i sin x. X plus two i two i minus two sin squared x. Mm. Minus two sin squared. X. Plus two into i squared is minus two. Very good. Okay. By one plus sin squared. One, one plus sin squared. squared. Okay. Now, what are they saying? This is this is purely imaginary. Okay. So, what did you do next? A real part equal to zero, sir. Yeah. So you can forget about the imaginary part. Only you take the real part. Okay. So here, what is the real part? One minus two sine squared x divided by one plus sine squared x equal to zero. Real part is equal to zero because this number is purely imaginary. So what next? One minus two sine squared x equal to zero. Yeah, that is because this is a positive quantity. One plus sine squared x is a positive quantity. Therefore, we can put one minus two sine squared x equal to zero. Very good, now. Very good. So now you got x, right? So two two sine squared x equal to one. Mm. Equal to one by two sine x equal to one by root two. Okay, but what are you asking? The value of x. x belongs to zero to two pi, right? If it, it is below zero to two pi, multiple values are possible, no? <clears throat> so what are the values possible for this? Sin x equal to plus or minus one by root two, right? Therefore, x equal to. So, what are all the values possible? Pi by two is one. Pi by two. Um, sorry, pi by four. No? Four, four, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. So you get these four values for x. So what are the options given? Then the value of x it, it is it can be one. It, it so since since uh, pi by four is the only value that that is in our range. Uh, whatever uh, uh, values we are getting, it can only be one of these four. Okay. So it cannot be pi or zero or two pi. Therefore, we can choose option four. Actually, they should have given like uh, uh, one of the values, uh, the value of x, the uh, one of the possible values of x in Kutra. Uh, so, because the value of x can be uh, four different values. Okay. Okay. So let's do the next one. Uh, what I suggest now, uh, we are having only 10 minutes now. Uh, so this third problem is very similar to the problems one and two. So this fourth problem is slightly different. So let's uh, try to do this problem. Okay. So you can do the third problem uh, later um, at home. Okay, sir. Okay. 
so now here vedam 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 sunnade kadanda tholilve illa vedam na kadanda tholilve And two com- there are two complex numbers. Omega one is equal to okay. Both are rotated 90 degrees with respect to the origin, anti-clockwise and clockwise respectively. Three and omega four. So how do we determine omega three and omega four? the first step in this kind of problem is convert these numbers to polar format okay from rectangular format they are given in rectangular format so when you want to rotate uh, a number uh, we can do easily when it is in polar form so what is the polar form of this So what is R here? Meter per second. Sir, root of nine plus twenty five, sir, which is equal to six. Root of three square plus thirty four, no, not six. Root of thirty four. Nine plus thirty-five. No? So root root of twenty thirty-four, and uh, theta is five by three. <coughs> Tan inverse of five <coughs> three. <coughs> What is this? Square root of forty-one. Yeah, five square plus four square. Now, <coughs> what happens is when a number is rot- uh, complex value is rotated anti-clockwise. So that means it goes from there is a number is like this. Okay, this is r and theta. Okay. If it is rotated by ninety degrees anti-clockwise, what happens is theta increases by ninety degrees and r doesn't change. Okay, so therefore omega three will be root of thirty-four into cis of tan inverse five by three plus. Five by two. And omega four equal to. So forty one is of um tan tan inverse five four by five plus five by two. Ah, uh, here it is rotated in the anti-clockwise direction. First it was anti-clockwise, so we added. Now next second number is uh, rotated in clockwise. Clockwise means you have to take this way, no? So th- theta gets reduced. So it is theta uh, minus uh, that ninety uh, degrees. Okay, so okay, the sir. previous term. Okay, so omega three and omega four. Now for omega three and omega four, uh, there uh, we only need the principal argument of the uh, the difference between the two. Okay, so this is r into this uh, cos theta, and this is r. So this is this theta. This is R into this something else. Okay, now. Okay. 
அந்த கொஸ்டின் என்னோட இப்ப வாங்கி நம்ம பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் அதுல நீங்க அந்த ஒன்னா பார்ட் இருக்கு ஒன் பார்ட் நீங்க ஒர்க் அவுட் பண்ணி பாத்துக்கலாம் என்ன டவுட் இருந்தாலும் நீங்க கேட்கலாம் பாஸ் Okay, actually we can do in this way. Let's see. We are only looking at arg, right? Let us say arg of W3 equal to. ஒரே இன்டு <laughs> ஐ <laughs> Similarly, W omega 2 is plus 4i. This is so, omega 4 will be, now we multiply by minus i. This four minus five y. Okay. Now omega three minus omega four we can easily calculate. omega minus omega is minus plus so now what is the principal argument of this So, what is alpha here? Alpha equal to 8 by 9. Right? Tan inverse 8 by 9. Okay. And it is in which quarter? Minus x is uh, negative, y is positive. So, that means second quarter. So, so what is theta? Pi minus alpha. Hmm. Pi minus tan inverse of uh, 8 by 9. Correct? Minus 5. 
So, which is this option is given, right? Pi minus tan inverse 8 by 9. Okay, so that is where option number three five minus tan inverse eight by nine. Okay. So the whatever the remaining problems, you please uh, try to solve yourself. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you can send it uh, even before next week. You send it to me. Uh, try to solve and send it to me. Next class, we will start with your uh, next chapter. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, so uh, I hope that uh, for the other uh, Sharmi, for you the and, and Harish also, the next chapter has it been started? The theory of equations have they started or, or, or they should have completed? Have they completed? Sir, it's going on. Sir. It is going on. Okay, in that case, what we will do? We will we will do uh, next session. We can do any chapter from the. Uh, from class 11 we can do some iit problems so, so allowing one more week for you to you know complete that chapter okay probably Not i think that um, the probability will be one of the very interesting uh, topics okay the, i see yeah. many questions yeah. from probability so what we can do in the next class we will uh, cover up whatever further doubts you have on on this complex numbers and then we will do some problems on probability Okay, so I will uh, identify some problems from uh, the on the topic of probability. Okay, uh, and then after one one more week, hopefully by the time uh, you are teaching uh, the theory of equations, then we can go to that chapter. So that will be better for you, you know, so that you know you would have first you know learned it in your class and you would have had some time to you know read and uh, practice some problems. Okay. Okay. So next week, uh, please come. Uh, no, try to solve these problems and come. So we'll clarify if there is any doubt and then move on to probability. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. Thank you, Ali. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Ah, man, the currency pays over